Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my late update for Turn and Burn. This is a Fantastic Ladies Collab project and it was created by Jessica. This is a very long video, so be prepared. I like to, for this project, I like to work on my deluxe size skincare products, my foil samples, and my perfume samples. And so I typically will go through the items I finished, the items I'm working on, and for my skincare deluxe size samples, I will share with you the items that I have in my queue. And I will show you the items that I pick and review them. And so it's very, very long. Grab a drink. You've been warned. I will leave timestamps down below as I always do. So let's get into it. My apologies for this being very, very late. It's just a very long video to film. So I've been like avoiding it. <laughs> and the other part of it is I'm, I feel like I've got like samples, like foil samples and perfume samples that are missing and I haven't written them all down in my the app that I use. So I need to go back and listen to my past videos and I haven't done it. I've been procrastinating. So I just went ahead and started filming. I So that's the reason why, another reason why it's like, whatever. We'll just go with it. In fact, I'm just now remembering there's a couple in my travel bag, a couple of perfume samples in my travel bag I need to grab. But regardless, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, let me share with you the items in my deluxe size skincare category that I have finished. I'm gonna start with the items I was working on last month. So first off, I have from Drug Elephant, the Proteini Power Peptide Resurf Serum. This is a pretty hefty sample, it's 15 mils. So it's like half of a full size. This was okay. It's I think, not something that I would repurchase, but it, was decent. You know, I was happy to use this. I think I got this as part of the, like a gift pack last year. I want to say it came with a full size proteiny polypeptide cream. Maybe I think the, for the price of the cream, you got this free. Maybe I can't remember. Anyway, it was all right. I just, I would not purchase a full size. The next item I finished. Yay. I'm so glad I finished it from philosophy, the hands of hope, uh, hand cream and sparkling grapefruit. I love this scent. This was fantastic. It just took me forever to finish, but I really did enjoy it. It was so nice. It's a great grapefruit scent. Really, really nice, but I'm happy it's gone. Mm. Next from fresh, I finished the sugar face polish. This was okay. It was very light in terms of, ex of the exfoliating power. There's a little bit left there at the bottom. And it almost like too quickly evaporated, like because it's a sugar polish. It was like you put it on your face and then it was gone. <laughs> like I don't feel like it did enough of an exfoliation, so I would never repurchase this. It was obviously a free sample. No. From It Cosmetics, I have the Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. I feel like they have rebranded this pr product. I don't think they changed the formula, but I could be wrong. I, you'll see here in a little bit, I'm actually working on another little sample of this. I really do enjoy this moisturizer. It's very thick moisturizer. So if you like lightweight moisturizers, this is not for you, but I have dry skin, so I love it. From Belief, I have the Aqua Moisturizing Eye Cream. It's all rubbed off, so I can't remember what it's called. I love this eye moisturizer. In fact, Ulta just had this during their 21 days of beauty and I purchased a full size. I love it. It's so good. If you like eye moisturizers, like hydrating eye moisturizers, this is a good one. I love it. Holy grail will repurchase and did. So those are all the items I was working on last month that I finished. I have two items that I pulled from my queue that I also finished. From Peter Thomas Roth, I have the Mega Rich Body Lotion. This was not that great. It was not something that I, I mean, I finished it, obviously. It was just okay. So I don't think Peter Thomas Roth makes this anymore. So I don't think you can repurchase it. But if they did, I would not. It was just not that great. And from Sol de Janeiro, I finished the Boom Boom Cream. Holy Grail, love this. I have an interesting, maybe controversial take on this product. While I love it, and I will 
most likely continue to purchase it. I have one thing I do not like about this product, and it's kind of been in the back of my mind to like, I don't know if I like this about this product. When I place it on my legs and the rest of my body, it does not, like it leaves white streaks. And I'm always like, it eventually goes away, of course, but I don't have very many moisturizers that do that. And it bothers me because I feel like for the price point of this product, it should 100% soak in. You know what I mean? Does anybody else have that problem with this product? Or is it just me? I feel like it's not just me. So anyway, I just, I love it. I love the way it smells. I know there are some dupes out there, like the one from Tree Hut. And there's apparently one from Trader Joe's, although I have not smelled the moisturizer. I purchased the scrub. And apparently it's a seasonal product, which is stupid. Bring it year round. Come on, Trader Joe's. But they're not the same. They don't smell the same. They're close, but they're not the same. I can tell the difference. So, yeah. I want an exact dupe. <laughs> That's like the perfect moisturizer you know this is not a, it not, it's not the perfect moisturizer i'll just say that anyway soapbox over so those are all the items i finished now let me share with you, you the items i'm still working on the items i was working on last month that i'm still working on i still have this freaking mask in here from peter thomas roth the 24 karat gold mask but it is so freaking close i think i have maybe one use left look at this so close it'll be done next month i swear it'll be done next month hmm. so yeah almost done <laughs> from avant i have the sumptuous glycolic acid hand balm i just use this and i don't like it i don't like it it says sumptuous it's not sumptuous i feel like it's very drying i just need to use it on my feet but then my feet will be dry my feet are already very, very dry. Yeah, I don't think I used, I think I used it like once <laughs> today. Oh no, maybe there's a little bit of, a little, little more progress. Yeah, I'm down to here now. So some progress, I don't love it. I just need to get it done, finish it. <laughs> like just slather it on my legs one day and be done with it. Next I have from L'Occitan, the almond, supple almond oil. So this is very close. I'm hoping I can have this finished next month. We're close. We're getting to the time of the year where I need something like this. So that should be done, I think, by the next update. From Ren, I have the Ever Calm Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. I need to, like, prioritize this. I think I probably said that last month. But I finished a hydrating mask last month. I'll just... But I'll just, I'll, I'll make sure, to, I'll prioritize it. I have one of the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. So this is currently in my travel bag and I have several trips coming up. So I don't know if I'll get it finished because these take longer than you would expect. There are seven mils in here, but I'll, I'll definitely work on it to try to get it out. I took this with me on a trip to our family lake house and that's where i started using it so i might be able to get it finished by the next update i am still working on this a more pacific treatment enzyme peel and let's see i am i think down to about here these take forever to finish yeah i mean i use it you don't need very much you don't need very much from Herbivore, I have the Pink Cloud Soft Moisture Cream, another moisturizer I just rolled in. So I literally just started using it. And it's in my, also in my travel bag. So I think those are the, well, I should say, those are the items I'm working on, but I have two, well, I, I, I lied. I lied, there's more. This one I used once. It's by Ola Hendrickson. It's the Wonderfeel Double Cleanser. I used it once because they're, I'm working on a full-size drunk elephant cleanser, the Bestie Jelly Cleanser, 
And there was one day where I was like, I don't want to use this because it's a little bit drying. It's like, I need a cream cleanser. So I pulled this out because I freaking love this cleanser. So I've used it once. I love it. And once I finish that, I think this goes into rotation because I've got a Tatcha that I'm almost done with, like a, a little, a deluxe size sample of a Tatcha. Oh, what is that one? It's also kind of a stripping cleanser, but I have like one use left in it. And then this will be, I think, the next one I use. So almost there. And then this one I've used here and there. It's by COSRX, the Oil-Free Ultra Moisturizing Lotion. And this one I've actually pulled out into like my everyday rotation. So, you know, it's not, I, I have a full size moisturizer that I'm using that's in my green, 50 Shades of Green project, but this one I kind of use every once in a while. So it's gotten some use. Now this one I had pulled into like my everyday rotation last month, but I kind of forgot about it. It's the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Cheriosa spray, little deluxe size spray. I kind of forgot about it. It's so good though. So I'll just, I need to remember to pull it out into my like line of sprays that I'm using, perfumes that I'm using. Items that I have in my queue that I have not started using. I have by Ren the Overnight Glow Dark Spot Sleeping Cream. This has been in here a long time. I have two perfumes. I have the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black Rollerball perfume, the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon perfume, a smaller deluxe size sample. This one is actually going into my travel bag. It's the Origins Precipitation Continuous Moisture Recovery for Body Moisturizer, the Lush Good Karma Shower Gel. This is also going into my travel bag. And the Lositon Almond Shower Gel. And lastly, I have by Shiseido, the Clarifying Cleansing Foam. So those are all the items that I was working on, have finished, and have in the queue. So let's see. So because the Tatcha cleanser is almost done. I will probably save this cleanser to replace my full size bestie cleanser. Well, I have the, and I also have the Kate Somerville goat milk cleanser, but this is too big to travel with. So I'll use both of those at home. I'm gonna put this one in my travel bag. I'm going to put this in my travel bag and put this in my travel bag. So that leaves me with these two and the, the two perfumes, which I'll eventually get to them, and the mask. So I am going to pull another five items. Actually, six, let's do six. I think I did six last time. It's a good number. Okay, I think I last updated this like, I didn't update this recently, but like a month ago, so it's fine. All right, we're picking six. Oh wait, that's way too bright. There we go. We're doing six. Claren's One Step Facial Cleanser. Of course I get a cleanser. <gasps> All right, number two, Rituals Soul Shimmering Body Oil. Okay, all right, that's two. Number three, oh, really, really? Aveda Hand Relief. Out of all of the minis I have, and I mean, I've literally had like four of these Aveda hand reliefs come up. Remove. Three. Okay. I love that product, but oh my gosh. Number four. Ooh, is it Sugar Scrub from the Bathing Garden and the scent Shiver. That'd be good for winter, I guess. Is that number four? This is number five, right? 
Oh, a Belief Aqua Balm Hydrating Toner. I think I'm actually working on one of those right now, which is fine. And then one more. Six. Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Another moisturizer. Okay. Let me go grab these and I will be right back. Okay. So I found everything finally. Took me a little bit of time. So first off from Drunk Elephant, I have the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And this has five mils. I really do love this moisturizer. It's lovely. It's a good daytime moisturizer for me. So this shouldn't take too long to finish. I will roll this in when I finish the herbivore cream. So yeah, it's a lovely moisturizer. Then from Rituals, I have this Ritual of Karma Soul Shimmering Body Oil. That is a lot of shimmer. So I'm just gonna put some on my arm, just or my hand, to see how much shimmer we have here. Oh. <laughs> let's see this is this is the hand it's not like out there but you can see it feels good though you know my hands are dry from that other hand cream maybe I can use that hand cream and then this oil to use both up <laughs> it smells nice it smells really nice. I can't see what the scent notes of this are, but it smells good. Hi! What are you doing? Hi. What are you doing? Hello. Hi. Are you going to say hi to everybody? Yeah? Hey. Hi. Want to go lay in your bed? Happy camper. Okay, next up from Clarins, I have the One Step Facial Cleanser. This has orange extract. Renews radiance. So it's this little small container. It has 10 mils. I I feel like this is an like a it's a very liquidy product. I don't know if this is more of like an eye makeup remover. Maybe I'll have to do some research on it because to me this is not like a like an actual makeup remover, like a cleanser. I don't know. We'll have to I'll, I'll have to do some research. Then from the bathing garden, I have these, this little, these, this small little jar of a sugar scrub and the scent shiver. And I bet you this is like a pepperminty scent. Mm-hmm. And so this will go in my travel bag immediately because I don't really take sugar scrubs with me generally, but if I have a sample like this, I'll use it. So this will immediately go in my travel bag. And then the last item I have is one that I was already using. This is by Belief, it's the Aqua Bomb Hydrating Toner. So you can see I do already have some use on this. So because I was already using this, I went ahead and spun the wheel and got another product. And so I got another perfume, of course. This is by Skylar, it's the Golden Lotus rollerball i think these are rollerballs right yeah it's a rollerball and this is part of the skylar scent of the month club and uh, let me see if i can get the scent notes for this so this has a base of vetiver and sheer amber flowing into blooming notes of lotus flower topped with crisp golden berries to create a profession profession progression of aromas for a complete sense a complete scent experience 
Inspired by a morning of deep reflection, this scent has a soulful depth that finishes with a mood elevating freshness. So top notes are golden berry, lotus flower, tagget, T-A-G-E-T-E, never heard of it. Middle notes are sage leaves, dewy violet, and orris. Bait note, base notes are warm musks, sheer amber, and vetiver. This is really nice. So, of course, I don't do roller balls. So I don't like them. I want I want to be able to spray. So I will eventually decant this into an atomizer. That's really, I don't know why I'm showing it to you because you can't, there's nothing to see. It's really lovely. So, yeah, I this is a, a great fall scent, I feel like. So just based on smelling it. Mm -hmm. So I will put this into an atomizer probably in the next month or so and just have it in rotation. It's really lovely. These other two are much more like winter. I feel like late fall, winter. Yeah, that's deep fall, wintry, like sensual, dark scents. Mm -hmm. They're so good, though. And I'm working on a full size of this one right now in a project. Okay, so let me put all of this stuff away and I will pull out my foil samples. Okay, let me share with you the foil samples that I finished. I have two from Tatcha, and the exact same ones. I have the Indigo Overnight Repair Cream. I really do like this moisturizer, so I finished two of these. I would totally purchase a full size of this, but I don't like the price point. Not to say that I wouldn't, I just don't like how much it costs. <laughs> And then from pharmacy, I have the Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. I'm working on a full size of this, and I do like it. It's a nice moisturizer. From pharmacy again, I have the Honey Halo Ultra, Moist Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. Another moisturizer I do enjoy. I have a couple of full sizes of this. I have not used a full size yet, but I do own them. And then another skincare item from Estee Lauder. I have the Advanced Night Repair Eye Concentrate Matrix. Love these products. They're so good. Holy grails. From Becca, I have this, the Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I just mixed all three of these together and then mixed them with my regular foundations that I was working on. So use this up. I have a couple of like foundation things. I have the Charlotte Tilbury, Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. Did the same, mixed all of these together. I couldn't tell you if this was good because there's not enough in here to do a full face. And then lastly, I use the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue. Holy Grail Foundation for me, I freaking love this stuff. But yeah, I mixed all four of these shades together and mixed it with my regular foundation. And then lastly, I finished two lip products. Now I only have one because I can't find the other one, but trust me, I finished two. So the first one, I think this was the Urban Decay Vice. Hold on, let me look at it. Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss and Back Talk. And then I also finished the Honest Beauty Lip Gloss and Inspired Kiss. But I don't know where that one went. It disappeared, but I finished it. I finished two. So those are both done. Yes. <laughs> now for items I am still like I have open. I still have the this like Liss foundation, the triple fix serum foundation. I mixed all five of these shades together and I have it in this container here and I was using it as a mixer. There's still a ton in here now. This is not all just the serum foundation because when I mixed all these together, it was very dark which was perfect because I needed it to lighten some other foundations that I was working on that were too light for me when, my, when I was super tan. Well, my tan has since faded and now my foundations are a little bit too dark. So this is not working for me. So what I did was, while, as I was getting, like my tan was fading and fading, I mixed a little bit of this in there and that is now it's like still no longer working. So now I'm like not sure what to do with this because it's too dark for me. And I guess I could put some white foundation in there and use it that way. 
that may be what I do because I have some white foundation. We'll see. I may fiddle around with it a little bit. But anyway, this whole like packet is still in use. And let's see, I have two lip products that I have opened and this is great because they're both fall shade. Well, one is a fall shade, one is not, but it's okay. I have this YSL Slim Glow Matte Lipstick in Insurgent Red and the Dior Rouge New Lipstick in 999. And then I have the YSL Touche Clot High Color Concealer, High Cover Concealer. And this was in the shade 0.75. I freaking love this concealer. I have the Laguna Liquid Bronzer, NARS Laguna Liquid Bronzer in here. I tried to, I can't remember if I tried to use this one. I don't think I tried to use this one yet, but I know I tried to use this. This is the Drunk Elephant O Blues Rosy Drops, and they were way too light for me when I tried to use them. So I have kind of not tried in a couple of weeks. I think this is probably going to be better for me in the fall when my tan significantly fades. So we're just going to leave these in here for a little while. The Laguna Liquid Bronzer probably would work for me. I just... I was working on the the cream version, so I need to actually pull this out and remember to use it now that I've hit my goal on that product. I kind of forgot that it was sitting in here, so I'm going to remember to, I'm going to set this out right here. <laughs> and I think those were all the ones that I was working on, and I'm going to leave that concealer out as, oh, I have one more. I have one more. I have the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. I was scared to use this. I actually don't mind it. I haven't hated it. I thought that I was going to hate it, and I actually don't mind it. Mm. I don't know that I would purchase a full size of it, but it's not its not bothering my under eyes so much. not minding it. Okay, so those are all the items that I have finished and that I'm working on. Now for the items that I have not touched. From M... I don't know why I haven't used this. M61, I have the Power Glow Peel easy to use. From my Clarins, I have the Remove Radiance Exfoliating, Exfoliating Powder. I really want to get that a more specific one done before I use this. From Estee Edit, I have the Pore Vanishing Stick. Now, I just hit my goal on the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. So since I've hit my goal on this, I will pull this out. I'll put it right here. Remember to use it. I have this highlight highlighter that I totally forgot about, but I can use this as a base. I think, I think it's a liquid highlighter. I can use this as a base to my foundation. So I need to remember to do that. And I have three foundations from YSL. I have, well, okay, this one's going to be too dark. So I'm going to declutter this one because I won't be able to use this. This one is by YSL now because originally I pulled this in because I was so 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 tan, but I'm no longer that tan. So I, this is going to be too too dark for me. But I do have this YSL new bare look tint in the shade number eight, and then I have from Nars I have the velvet matte skin tint in the shade light three Groen Groenland. So those are the items I have not touched. And then I have two lip, pro two lip products that I haven't touched either. I have from Urban Decay, Vice Lipstick and Sheer Anarchy. It's almost too late to use this. And the Dior Rouge New Lipstick in Red Smile. Actually, I can pull in one lip product because I think I allow myself five. So we're gonna pull in one lip product and I have, let's see, five I haven't, five products I haven't touched. Five plus I'm working on one, two, three, four. So that's nine. So I'll pull in eight samples, foil samples, and one lip product. So I have them separated out. So here are my foil samples. So we'll pull items from here first. So here I go. Mix these up. Mm. 
Did I say eight? Eight. Right? Eight? Okay, what did I get? First off, I got this thing. This is a powder. It's the Tom Ford bronzing powder and gold dust. So this was from a website called So Schwa that's no longer around. And I think I've used the, I think there were two other products in here and I've used the other two. This is the last one. Okay. Where is the shade? It's probably too orange for me, but we'll figure out a way to make it work. It seems to be a very shallow pan. Okay, so next up I have from Lan Lano Lips the original 101 ointment multi purpose super balm. It has so it can it has 101 uses for extremely dry lips, skin patches cuticles or elbows okay this is awesome because i need something for like the inside of my ears i think i've mentioned this before i have a pharmacy balm that i feel like has kind of gone off so i'm going to use this instead i'm going to declutter that and we'll use this instead so that's awesome we're getting to that time of year for me okay from keels i have the creamy eye treatment this, i really do like that eye cream it's very nice from pharmacy, I have the Filling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. People say this smells like hot dogs, right? I'll be the judge of that. Ugh! The Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh! There's two left in here. Okay, I have the shades. What do I have? Medium brown and dark brown. <sighs> We're gonna go with, I guess, medium brown. Fuck. You did not give me good luck. From Urban Decay, I have the Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup in the shade number 2.0. And then lastly, is that it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I pull enough? I don't think I pulled enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven. I don't think I pulled enough. Oh, I did. One, two. Oh, I pulled two of these. I pulled two of the keels. Sorry guys, I didn't show you. There's two of these. <sighs> Creamy eye treatments. I did not notice. And then lastly, I have from First Aid Beauty, the facial radiance pads. And there are 10 in here, apparently. Yeah, 10 pads. So I have one in that one packet and then 10 in here. This is for your face you could also use it on your body I guess yeah face neck and decollete okay so those are the eight new samples that I have brought in for this project my nemesis one of my nemesis and the freaking Estee Lauder edit or Estee edit this thing oh my gosh oh let's do let's pick my our one lip item. So here's the bag with my lip products. So I'm just gonna go digging in here. And this is what I picked. This is from Laura Mercier. And it's the Extreme, Go Extreme Velvet, no, Velvet Extreme Matte Lipstick. And I have these shades here. So it looks like I've used two of these already. So why don't we use, I think I'm going to go with fresh, that shade there, fresh, I think that's a good fall shade. All right, there we go. So those are the foil samples. Hey, where are you going? Ziggy. Oh, is he going to go sit on his the hamper?
Or is he going to go check out the window? Now let's look at the perfume samples that I finished. I think there's three here that I got done. I have from Burberry, my Burberry. From, I don't remember the, I don't remember any of these being like fantastic. From Replica, oh, this one was really good actually. I was surprised at how much I liked this. Jazz Club, I was surprised. Well, I guess this is Maison Margiela. I was surprised at how much I liked the Replica Jazz Club. Really. I didn't think I would like it, but I really liked that. I'm surprised. And then from Chloe, I have Nomad. And then I have, let me go grab the other two that are in my travel bag. Okay, so I have started to use this one. This is the Atelier Cologne Vanilla Incense. Now, I decanted this, and I actually decanted another one into an atomizer because this is one of those, like, stopper. It's not a spray. It's a stopper, and I hate that. I didn't find it to be worthwhile to just decant one because then I have to clean these out, and I was like... I don't want to like decant one and then clean it out. I'd rather just decant two. So I have it in this atomizer here. So that's how much two filled up. I think I've used, I think I've sprayed this once. So I just went ahead and rolled in two of those samples. So I'll work on those two, these two, and we'll roll them out at the same time. So I'm working on those two and let me share with you the other ones that I have in here. I have from, bye Ziggy, from Bastide I have Rose Oliver, Tiffany & Co, just Tiffany & Co. By Rosie Jane I have Leela Lou. I think I've sprayed this a couple of times as you, as you can tell. From Tori Birch I have Tori Birch. Tori Birch Love Relentlessly. Tom Ford Oud Wood. Tory Burch, Just Like Heaven. I had a lot of Tory Burch in here. From Dior, I have J'adore. <laughs> and Jean-Paul Gaultier, I have Classique. This is a probably a very old one. So I currently have, let's see. You know what? I finished three. We'll just bring in three. Let's just make it easy. So I have my purple... Bath and Body Works candle holder that has it's full, 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 full. So I'm just going to go in here. And, <laughs> one. Two. I just dropped one. Three. Let's see. From Skylar, I have Coral. From Victor and Rolf, I have Flower Balm Dew. That one's not quite full. And lastly, we have a clean perfume that is also not full, Citron Fig. So these will be, these last two will be easy to finish. Should I bring in one more? One more. From, uh, let's see, Dolce & Gabbana, I have Dolce. Yeah, I think I can finish these two pretty easily. I mean, are these not full because they're whiter? I don't know. Anyway, yep, we brought in those. So those are the perfumes I'm working on. These little samples. I have so many. So anyway, that is my project. I am excited to, I mean, I'm happy to have like the last of this one out. I think this is the very last of the So Schwa potentially, which is very exciting. That's why I love this project. Like you guys like the, oh no, there's, I see another so schwa. But that's a that's a powder. That's like a loose powder. That's not that big of a deal. Oh yeah, there's another one. There's another oh there's several in here. There's several in here. <laughs> Any regardless. Regardless. <laughs> but what I will say is this bag used to be 
full. Full. Now, I don't know if there's ever going to come a day where there's like nothing in here. I wish, I hope that there's a day co that comes where there's nothing left in here. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. No, another one. <laughs> oh, it's a Danessa Myricks. Cheek tint, lip color, or eyeshadow. It's a highlighting thing. That's what's the, uh, this thing. I forgot. That's it. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Come say hi. Oh. Come say hi. Hi. You don't like me to pick you up, do you? You don't like it. You tolerate it. Yes, you do. Hmm. <laughs> I love you. Okay, bye.